You knew someone coming out of last night's results was going to imply that the Hail Mary of replacing Biden with Harris was the wrong thing to do, I guess. And Jen Psaki steps up to make that case. Jen, has the conversation begun yet about Joe Biden and about the decision to ask him to step aside? It will begin. Uh, it will begin depending on the outcome. Sure. Um, and obviously, we there hasn't been a race called yet. If this if this is not a Harris win, that will certainly be part of the discussion. Uh, it is. She's run a campaign over the course of 107 days. Um, that is not something we've seen in history. Um, and there'll be lots of questions about exactly that, the timing um, and the impact of that. Okay, so I get that she's trying to place a little bit of distance between herself and that by saying the conversations will happen. But your job is to be a pundit now. So you can maybe throw out like a little, and those conversations will be utterly ridiculous. Because by the way, look, all of that contextual stuff is true. She only had 100 days. You know, there is some baked in misogyny and racism and all that. All that's true. Um, the idea that we would be feeling better today if Joe Biden had been the nominee. Look, obviously, I don't, I don't always trust my predictions. I, I predicted that she would win. I didn't imply that I was super confident, to be clear, but I did predict it. I am 100% confident that it would have been worse with Joe Biden. Every bit of empirical data that we had implied that we were headed towards an actual crushing victory. I know that Trump winning is consequentially crushing, but the numbers would have been far and away worse. And in a consequential way, maybe Kerry Lake would have won in that case. Maybe Mark Robinson would have become governor and all that. Maybe we wouldn't have a chance of taking the house. I don't know, I, like it's an alternate reality. I can't say for sure, except to say that while Harris wasn't able to get it done and we should critique why that might be, there is no potential universe in which Joe Biden continuing on was a better call to have made. Feel free to disagree, Sharon, what do you think? I have strong opinions, what do you think? I agree with your strong opinions. I don't know what he just said, and I don't think he does either. Do you remember that line that Donald Trump uttered a truthful statement for once in the debate against Joe Biden? I don't know what he just said, and I don't think he does either. That is where we were, okay, with Joe Biden. And there were countless other missteps, literally tripping and falling off of bikes and things that you could explain away as a, you know, just you're human or it was over. So I don't know why Jen Psaki is hedging, but that's what people in Washington and political circles do. It's painfully obvious that had Joe Biden been on the ballot at the top of the ticket, there would be no rallies the size of. Kamala Harris is there would be no Beyonce or Cardi B, and there would just be <laughs> losses. And perhaps Carrie Lake would be moving to Washington with her soft glow light. It's a ridiculous <laughs> thing that she can't even weigh in on that. Jen Psaki, come on. Yeah, and and look, we're we're gonna see a lot of it. We're gonna see a lot of it, and not just Jen Jen, Jen Psaki. Uh, Simone Sanders said it was a very public stab fest, and she went off on the Dems for forcing. Joe Biden, what what are you talking about? What in the hell are you? I know that I know that I'm just some guy on YouTube or whatever. I don't get paid millions of dollars to do this, but what the hell are you talking about? We can have a discussion about whether things would have been different if he had preemptively announced he wouldn't be running. We can have that conversation. And I honestly don't know. I really would have preferred it. It's why back when I was doing primary results coverage, I kept saying, isn't it a shame we're not having a real primary? And by the way, getting shouted at by Democrats in the chat that I should shut up about that, I feel like I was right. Maybe, maybe, I don't know that that would have been enough to overcome everything else. But it definitely would not have been better if he had stayed in. That is no offense intended to these pundits, but that's insane. That is an insane position to hold. And really, I don't think having this conversation is about relitigating getting rid of Biden. I think what it's about is preemptively stopping anyone who questions just letting the democratic status quo, the leadership, do what they want. Because what happened was, Upstarts questioned Biden. Upstarts had an issue with him and said, well, maybe he's not the guy and all that. And for once in American politics, 
they got their way. Not necessarily the way all of them wanted. You know, it wasn't some wild eyed radical uh, lefty that became nominee or whatever, but he stepped down. And this seems like an attempt to be like, don't question us in the future because somehow it's the people who questioned Biden who assured that Donald Trump would get into office. Not Biden himself staying when he knew he shouldn't. Not the, the people who protected Joe Biden from scrutiny for so long. It's not their fault. It's your fault for questioning him. That's crazy and I am simply not going to accept it. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?